Second recipe for this week is sausage stuffed acorn squash. So for this, we'll need some acorn squash, sausage, garlic, onion, salt and pepper, thyme. It uses one red bell pepper. I didn't have that, but I have some of these small sweet peppers, so I'm going to use those. Some chopped spinach, or you can use kale. I have frozen, so that's what I'm going to use. And Parmesan. For the equipment, you'll need a cutting board, a sharp knife, measuring spoons, a bowl, a cookie sheet with parchment paper or tin foil, and then a frying pan to cook up the sausage. When it's time to cut the squash, you might want to have somebody help you with this because it can be really tough to get through them. What I do is I cut off the top and the bottom because then when they're cooking in the pan, you'll have a flat surface. And then you turn it on its side And you just kind of rock it to get started. And there we go. That wasn't too bad. Now we gotta scoop out the guts. Okay, now the gross part is done. I got all the, I almost said eggs. That would be really gross. Get all the seeds out of it. Um, I'm just going to spray these with a little bit of olive oil. Put them in the oven at 400 degrees. They're going to go about 45 minutes until they're nice and tender. So while my squash are cooking, I'm cutting up my peppers. I just wanted to remind you when you're cutting something like this, you want to make the tunnel with your fingers. Put the knife between and then press down so that you don't accidentally cut yourself. And always keep your fingers away from the blade. Just like that. And then we'll scoop out the seeds and I'm gonna dice these up. The stuffing is all cooked through, everything is heated up. So we're just waiting for the squash to finish cooking. In the meantime, I'm gonna add about half of the Parmesan to this and then the other half will go on top and I'm going to eyeball this. You probably see Gnocchi. That's my other cat. She's really shy so I'm surprised that she's out here. Probably because I'm cooking with meat and cheese and those are like her two favorite things. All right so the squash are out of the oven. They are crazy hot right now. Um, I'm going to just put the stuffing in them, sprinkle some cheese on top, and throw them back in the oven for another 20 minutes. So I stuffed them with the meat mixture, and then I put on some of that Parmesan cheese. Um, I would say this makes enough to do three whole squash, so six halves, because I've got plenty of meat left over. 